students let us study probability distributions this time what do you mean by distribution before name of distribution you must know what is random variable let us try to understand the meaning of random variable with an example okay let us consider a random experiment of tossing a coin twice we know that the possible outcomes are h h when you toss a coin twice the first time i get h next time i get h or h t or t h or t t this is the sample space each are called sample points we are calculated what is the probability of getting head head or we have taken an event what is event event is a subset of this what are the possible subsets i can take hh H, ht this is one subset this is one subset what is the probability of e this is nothing but number of elements in e divided by number of element in s so this is 2 by 4 number of elements so we we'll got we got that is half we say probability of e is half now instead of that for each element we associate a number a real number what is associated here is for each event for each event we associate a real number p of s we have taken p of s power set of s for each element we associated a real number here that is using axiomatic definition we taken that is the probability don't confuse with that now not for each here all are events for each event you associated but here we are not associating for each element each event instead of that each element of s we are associate okay now i associate for this some number randomly i take this number as 2 but when you are associating probability assignment that association is always a non negative and also we know that it is between 0 and 1 but this is not necessary for this i will associate 1 for this i will associate 1 for this i associate 0 okay what the assignment i did how i associated what is the rule i applied i apply like this how many heads are there in this there are two that i taken as two how many heads are this one no, one that is this random this this is nothing but random variable random variable i associated for each element of s now what is this this contains two head this contains one head okay instead of that suppose if i have event like this h t and t h on this event what is this this contains one head this contains exactly one head so i can write now probability of x what is x x is nothing but one head equal to okay what is that probability of individuals probability of getting ht one possibility other possibilities will get th or probability of th this way will now associate probability not for the events for the random variables so probability of one in terms of probability of the corresponding events this type of definition 
you make for random variables. For example,